Hi guys, this is Human Anatomy and Physiology for NETA Level 4, Session Number 6, which is Structure and the Functions uh, of Connective Tissues. Uh, these are learning tasks. Uh, by the end of this session, every student should be able to, uh, to define connective tissues, uh, to outline types of cells found in the connective tissues, and also to outline types of fibers found in the connective tissues, uh, to explain the classification and the functions of connective tissues, and also to identify uh, specialized the connective tissues. So these are just learning tasks. Uh, by the end of this uh, session, every student should be able to uh, to either define, outline, or to explain. Uh, all these learning tasks. Uh, by starting, let us see the definition of connective tissue. So, tuangalie maana ya connective tissue. Katika session ilio pita, uh, tuliangalia epithelia, uh, epithelium kama tissue, uh, miunguni mwa tissue amba tunapatikana kwenye mwili wa monadam. So, now, we are going to see uh, about connective tissue. Uh, Connective tissue is a medium, is a medium in the body which surrounds and supports other tissues of the body. So, connective tissue uh, is a type of tissue which surrounds and supports other tissues of the body. Uh, and the connective tissue is composed predominantly of intercellular material. Uh, those materials are about to uh, kwenye epithelium uh, ambazo tukasema in epithelium uh, zinapatikana kwa kiasi kidogo but in the connective tissues uh, connective tissue is composed predominantly kwa kiasi kikubwa uh, with intercellular materials known as extracellular matrix which is secreted mainly by connective tissue cells cells and the fibers uh, the cells Forming the connective tissues are more widely separated. So, ukitofautisha na epithelium, uh, seli ambazo zinatengeneza connective tissues ziko uh, balimbali sana. Ukilinganisha na zile seli ambazo zinatengeneza epithelium from each other than those forming epithelium. And intercellular substances is present uh, in a considerably large amount. Kwenye epithelium tuniangalia uh, cells ambazo tunatengeneza epithelial tissues, epithelial cells zenyewe namna ambavyo zimepangiliwa kwenye zile tissue zipo karibu karibu kiasi ambacho the distance from one cell to another cell is very small. Kwa sababu hiyo ikapelekea hata extracellular matrix pia kuwa kwa kiasi kidogo katika epithelium. Uh, but it is different uh, in connective tissues uh, ambapo uh, cells they are widely separated from each other uh, kwa kiasi ambacho uh, the distance from one cell to another ni kubwa ile space from one cell to another is, is large so even the intercellular substances known as matrix uh, is present in considerably large amount there may or may not be fibers present in matrix uh, which may be of semi-solid gel, like consistency or dense and rigid depending uh, upon the position and the functioning of the tissue. So, the presence of the fibers uh, in the matrix, uh, it depends on either position and the function of the uh, connective tissue. Uh, let us see the type of cells involved the, uh, in uh, connective tissues. Uh, we have two main types of cells ambazo tuneza tukazipata kwenye uh, connective tissue. One is resident cells and the second is wandering cells. So we have resident cells and the wandering cells. Resident cells, uh, they are also known as fixed cells. Fixed cells are also known as resident cells. And another type of uh, types, another type of cells ambazo nakuwa found uh, when the connective tissue, the wandering cells. So, 
let us see the resident cells uh, resident cells are the cells always found residing in connective tissues these cells ambazo zinapatikana uh, kwenye, kwenye connective tissue wakati wote uh, kama ni seli mama kwenye tissue they are known as res resident cell they are uh, they are found residing in connective tissue always so resident cell is ni kama seli mama kwenye connective tissue ambapo uh, zinahusisha fibroblast zinahusisha macrophages mast cells adipocytes pigment and undifferentiated uh, mesenchymal cells so hizi ni aina ya cells ambazo uh, wakati wote utazikuta kwenye connective tissue zinapatikana pale kama maseli mama uh, tutaangalia uh, seli moja moja ambazo ni resident cells uh, baadhi ya seli we are not going to discuss all these cells tutaangalia uh, uh, some cells ambazo tunaweza kuzi discuss kwa fupi uh, then other type of cells tutajifunza kadiri uh, tunavyoendelea na sessions zingine mbele so Fibroblast are flat spindle shaped cells uh, with the blanching of cytoplasmic uh, processes with the elliptical and the half elongated nucleus and the shape differs depending on the activity the anatomy of fibroblast uh, depending on its physiology uh, and the uh, fibroblast are found in any early all types of uh, tissues and the active fibroblasts uh, have abundant cytoplasm. Uh, inactive fibroblasts uh, are smaller and have diminished cytoplasm. So, fibroblasts ni one among resident cells uh, found always in connective tissues. Ambazo, uh, they are flat in shape and also they are spindle in shape uh, and also uh, they have uh, cytoplasmic processes with elliptical and have elongated nucleus nucleus is like ziko elongated so they are also found uh, in different shapes depending on the activities uh, and also this is fibroblast zinapatikana karibia katika a uh, tissue uh, nyingi kwenye meli yetu and the active fibroblast uh, ni ile ambayo inakuwa na cytoplasm ndani ya kutosha uh, kuliko ile ambayo ni inactive inactive fibroblast yenyewe inakuwa ndogo na pia cytoplasm pia inakuwa ndogo uh, then now let us see the function of fibroblast uh, uh, fibroblast ina kazi kuu tatu uh, the first function of a fibroblast uh, is synthesis and also differentiation into other type of cells and also fibroblast is very important in wound healing and tissue repair <laughs> uh, fibroblast secrete connective tissue fibers uh, which are collagen elastic and reticular fibers these are three important collagen uh, these are three important fibers uh, secreted by uh, these fibroblasts the first one is collagen second one is elastic and the reticular fiber uh, the third uh, type of uh, fiber secreted by fibroblast they also uh, these fibroblast also secrete uh, substances uh, like glycosaminoglycans and the glycoproteins uh, which found in extracellular matrix or ground uh, substances uh, and also fibroblast uh, differentiate into other type of cells uh, depending on the body needs fibroblasts are capable of changing into a variety of cell types depending on the body needs uh, and also fibroblasts secrete uh, the connective tissue element which help in remodeling uh, the extracellular matrix uh, which is important in uh, wound healing and the tissue repair so uh, this fibroblast ni muhimu kwa ajili ya synthesis ya easy uh, fibers ambazo ni collagen fibers, elastic fibers and reticular fibers. Lakini pia fibroblast ina produce ina secrete substances like glycosaminoglycans 
in the Greco proteins and both na perform specific I mean, uh, different functions when you have to end the uh, differentiation into other cells. Differentiation into other cells be any case when you have your fibroblasts. Fibroblasts uh, at the normal process of maturation, they can change into other types of cells depending on the body needs. And also, fibroblasts in a secret connective tissue elements and also in a found in the extracellular matrix uh, kwa jili ya uh, kusaidia the wound healing and the tissue repair. Now histocytes. Histocytes they are polymorphic cells uh, and can be avoided or irregular in shape uh, with the short and the blunt processes. They are delivered from monocytes. Uh, during process maturation, uh, monocytes change and become histocytes. Uh, they delivered from blood monocytes uh, which migrate into tissues and they transform uh, become, become uh, histocytes and the main role of the uh, histocytes is phagocytosis to phagocytize to phago, uh, cyto, phagocytize to phagocytize uh, zile uh, microorganism or zile products of microorganism or any other unwanted biological uh, invasion into the tissue and also uh, they may act as antigen presentation so uh, histocytes uh, ni muhimu kwa ajili ya phagocytosis na pia in the antigen presentation uh, during normal process of maturation uh, monocytes change and become histocytes they are avoid and irregular with the short uh, and the blunt processes so uh, these are one of the uh, cells ambazo uh, zinakuwa found kwenye uh, connective tissues uh, and also we have mast cells uh, a large cells round or over in shape uh, they play an important role in allergic reactions mast cells are filled with secretory granules uh, that are filled with substances of inflammation such as uh, histamine and the heparin heparin is an anticoagulant uh, anticoagulants are in a group of chemicals or substances uh, ambazo zinazuia dam kugan they prevent blood from clotting they are uh, they are thin they are blood thinner they make blood uh, not to uh, to clot and the histamine uh, is released by the cells and allergic conditions uh, and give rise to edema bronchospasm and the other form of food, uh, allergic reaction to the surrounding tissues so mast cells the new and large uh, they are round, they are oval in shape, and also they play an important role in allergic reactions. Compass and the of produce histamine, uh, histamine released uh, by the cell is an allergic condition, and this process is immunological uh, due to presence of uh, allergens or other substances that most stimulate histamine release. Uh, the conditions that uh, are also allergic may occur, like edema, bacospasm, and the uh, some many others and now let us see wonder link cells these are the cells uh, which are temporarily found in connective tissues depending on the body needs uh, example during infections they are not always residing on connective tissues but they are found there uh, when the body uh, needs it so wonder link cell uh, is not always found in connective tissue as a residing cell is they are temporarily found within the connective tissues depending on the needs of the body especially during infection they include monocytes lymphocytes and the granulocytes these are immunological cells uh, they are found in the tissues in the response of uh, infections uh, let's now see the types of fibers found in connective tissues uh, here we have uh, three types of uh, uh, fibers found in the connective tissue. First is collagen fibers and also elastic fibers and also reticular fibers. Collagen fibers uh, are the most evident fibers found uh, by the union of many collagen fibers. Uh, these many collagen fibers are made up of collagen protein. So collagen proteins uh, make collagen fibers uh, Munganiko collagen fibers and another collagen fibers. They are mostly evident fibers are uh, found in the connective tissue uh, and the elastic fibers these are fine fibers made up of elastin protein and also known as elastin. 
and they allow some degree of distension and the stretching kama jina lake relief or elastic elastic ni kitu ambacho kina uwezo ku distend and the stretching upon the force so once force kitolewa elastic uh, fibers na uwezo wa kurudi ku regain on its uh, shape before kama before ambavyo has ku distend and the uh, ku stretch and the reticular fibers uh, these are smaller fibers that branch and then as most to form a net like supporting framework uh, known as a reticulum so let us see the collagen fibers uh, first uh, collagen fibers are, are the most abundant fibers found by union of many collagen fibers that are made up of collagen proteins they are tough collagen fiber they are tough they are inextensible and they possesses high tensile strength and therefore stretching is restricted uh, stretching uh, in collagen fibers is restricted because collagen fibers are very tough and inextensible they appear white in a fresh section collagen fibers are white in a close section and the major part uh, and the form major part of tendons ligament cartilage teeth and the uh, bones so collagen fibers zinapatikana kwa wingi kwenye hizi sehemu tendons ligament cartilage teeth and the bones there are many types of collagen fibers but the most important are type 1 type 2 type 3 and the type 4 zipo za aina nyingi sana lakini most important most common ni type 1 type 2 type 3 and the type 4 uh, here elastic fibers uh, these are fine fibers are uh, made up of uh, elastin protein kama tulivyoangalia and they allow some degree of distension and stretching na uwezo ku distend uh, na ku stretch kama jina lake relieve elastic fibers and when stretched usually recover the original form zina uwezo wa kurudi kwenye hali yake ya kawaida and the dimension when the force is eliminated the elastic limit is not exceeded so pale ambapo force imekuwa eliminated force ambayo imefanya either distend or stretch uh, imekuwa eliminated the elastic limit uh, pia uh, haikufika so itarudi katika hali yake ya kawaida uh, elastic material ukivuta uh, ika exceed its elastic limit na katika so once uh, distension or uh, stretching imefanyika Uh, mpaka pale kwenye elastic limit uh, once force is eliminated uh, the elastic fibers may regain and uh, ikarudi kwenye ile shape yake ya awal and the elastic fibers changes as age advances kadiri umri unavyozidi kuwa mkubwa uh, na zenyewe zinabadilika where it loses it loses its resilience uh, ule uwezo wake wa ku distend and to stretch una Uh, unapungua kwa kadiri mtu anavyozidi kuzeeka apia yellow in a fresh section uh, ukikata okay, uh, its cross section is yellow elastic fibers exist as accompanying structure of collagen fibers uh, in the capsule of many organs uh, vascular walls and elastic uh, cartilage uh, collagen fibers they are tough uh, and inextensible kwa hiyo hata the uh, locations ambazo zinakuwa zina, zinapatikana mara nyingi zinapatikana kwenye sehemu ambazo uh, zinahitaji high tensile strengths so sometimes uh, some organs or structures ambazo zinahitaji high tensile strengths uh, pia zinahitaji uh, a limited a limited value of uh, distension and uh, stretching uh, kwa mfano uh, in bloody uh, in vascular walls Uh, in the vascular wall is uh, some degree of uh, elastic uh, distension is is needed so elastic fibers exist there as a, a, a accompanying structure of collagen fibers in the capsule of many organs uh, vascular walls and elastic cartilage so uh, in organs ambapo uh, high tensile strength is needed uh, and some degree of distension is needed Uh, both elastic fibers and the uh, collagen fibers may be found there also in the ligamentum nuclei and the ligamentum flava of the spinal cord uh, these are uh, structures found in the uh, spinal cord uh, ligamentum nuclei and ligamentum flava of the spinal cord we can 
uh, we can find these uh, elastic fibers and they also we have reticular fibers uh, come to level sema they are smaller fibers that branch and then astamos to form a net like supporting framework known as uh, reticulum they are also related to the collagen fibers uh, found uh, the uh, collagen fibers because they contain collagen fibers uh, and they show the close binding pattern and they are sometimes continuous with collagen fibers so these reticular fibers they are almost similar to collagen fibers because they also contain the collagen fibers and they show the cross binding pattern and they are sometimes continuous with collagen uh, fibers pale collagen fibers zinapoishia uh, unakuta zinewe zinachomoka uh, zina form like branches zina form these reticular fibers uh, uh, sometimes continue with uh, collagen fibers uh, and reticular fibers form supporting framework uh, on the hemopoietic or bone marrow and lymphoid organs such as thymus lymph node and the spleen so in these organs uh, reticular fibers in a, in a, a supporting framework uh, in these organs i'm about to meet uh, bones uh, bone marrow lymphoid organs like thymus uh, lymph node and the spleen uh, uh, reticular fibers are produced by reticular cells. Reticular cells and they also produce uh, your reticular uh, fibers apple and they also found in endocrine glands. This, uh, these fibers appears in the uh, endocrine glands, small blood vessels, veins, muscle cells, fatty tissues and in spaces between the epithelium with connective tissue. Uh, in these locations the reticular fibers are produced by fibroblasts. So, in this location, uh, these reticular fibers are produced by fibro fibroblasts. Some muscle cells and squamous cells produce reticular fibers that surround the nerve fibers. So, uh, squamous cells, uh, smooth muscle cells uh, produce reticular fibers that uh, surround the nerve fibers. Uh, in wound healing, reticular fibers are the first thing to be formed, and the wound improves gradually, a uh, change to become uh, collagenous. So, pale ambapo mtu anapata kidonda, the first thing to be produced is reticular fibers, ambazo zinasaidia sana kwenye wound healing. Uh, classification and the function of connective tissue. Uh, now uh, we have classification of uh, connective tissues uh, we have proper connective tissue and specialized connective tissue in the proper connective tissues uh, we have loose connective tissue and the dense connective tissue uh, and in the specialized connective tissue uh, we have this first the adipose tissue bloody tissue cartilage uh, bony tissue and the lymphoid uh, tissue so let us see the proper connective tissue uh proper connective tissues we have loose connective tissues and the dense uh connective tissue let us see the loose connective tissue or areola tissues uh contains more cells than fibers and the fibers are thinner delicate spurs and the loosely arranged so these loose connective tissues may contain cell nyingi uh, than fibers uh, any delay tissue and bottles may uh, they are connective tissues uh, in the type of loose connective tissues the new is na cell nyingi kuliko fibers and the fibers are thinner in mbamba they are delicate they are spurs and they loosely arranged ziko balimbali and they found uh, around vessels uh, between the muscle fibers uh, lamina propria of the intestine and the in fascial spaces this allocation uh, ambapo it is uh, loose connective tissues na patikana and also it forms the essential medium for the nutrients and the waste material exchange between the tissues and the blood here in, in, in a form of essential medium uh, kwa ajili ya exchange ya nutrients and the waste materials kutoka kwenye blood stream paka kwenye tissue uh, and also maintains the osmotic pressure so uh, hii hali yake ya kuwa 
uh, ya kuwa thin ya kuwa delicate uh, na cells zake ziko loosely arranged uh, na pia zilivyo kama jina lake ni loose connective tissue uh, zinapatia uwezo wa tissue kuruhusu nutrients na zile waste material kutoka au nutrients kuingia into the tissue from the bloody stream and also uh, maintain the osmotic pressure uh, the proper connective tissues are uh, now we are going to, to see the dense connective tissue uh, contains more fibers than the cellular than the cellular components so here cell is ni chache kuliko fibers pale tuliangalia tukasema uh, cell is ni nyingi kuliko uh, mimi tulikuwa tulisema kwamba cell ni nyingi kuliko fibers but now uh, fibers ni nyingi kuliko cell so fibers are densely packed uh, with the little space the space from one cell to another ni ndogo for the ground substances uh, based on the fiber arrangement in the direction uh, direction dense connective tissue is divided into uh, so these are types of dense connective tissue we have irregular dense connective tissue and irregular dense connective tissue irregular dense connective tissue and irregular dense connective tissue so now let us see the dense irregular connective tissues uh, fibers are irregularly arranged in the dense irregular connective tissues they are irregular arranged fibers are mainly collagen but uh, in, some, in some made up of elastic fibers uh, example walls of elastic arteries and elastic ligaments Exa example uh, ligamentum flavum and the ligamentum nuclei uh, the proper connective tissue uh, it forms of uh, continuation continuation of this slide uh, it forms the dermis of the skin uh, superficial, uh, superficial facial uh, fibrous capsule of the organs uh, first is uh, a beginner of the testes uh, periosteum uh, perichondrium uh, pimicium uh, uh, dura mater septi and the tuberculi in the various glands so these dense irregular connective tissues in Akua are found in these areas uh, like uh, uh, periosteum, uh, perichondrium, uh, epimysium, dura mater, septi, and the uh, tuberculi in the various glands. Uh, the proper connective tissue uh, continuation now dense regular connective tissue. Uh, predominant fibers are collagen fibers. Uh, when you dense regular connective tissues, uh, the predominant fibers are collagen fibers. Uh, the fibers are densely packed and regularly arranged parallel to each other. Uh, its arrangement gives rise to be strong structure uh, that will stand distance, I mean tension exerted in one direction. Uh, comprises the tendons. Uh, ligaments and the uh, aponeurises uh, tendons in the uh, tissues and muscles in a connect uh, bone and muscle uh, ligaments in a connect uh, bone and bone uh, and the aponeurises in a connect muscles uh, flat bones then let us see uh, specialized the connective tissues uh, uh, first adipose tissues uh, formed by aggregation uh, of fatty cells adipocytes uh, with a few other cells such as macrophages fibroblasts and the leukocytes so adipose tissues they are formed by adipocytes adipocytes are the cells which uh, form uh, adipose tissues uh, but adipose tissues and also contain uh, cells like macrophages, uh, fibroblasts, and the leukocytes. Uh, basically, it is a storage tissue that stores nutritive material uh, in the form of natural fat that can be used to produce energy when uh, needed uh, when, when needed by the body. So. Uh, these adipose tissues, they are also as uh, natengeneza medium kama uh, ya kuhifazi 
uh, nutrients uh, in form of fat ambapo zinaweza zikatumika kama uh, sosi ya kuzalisha energy pale ambapo uh, mahitaji yatatokea and other functions include protection pia adipose tissue they are responsible for protection and also insulation kwa ajili ya kuprevent the loss of of heat and uh, there are two types uh, which includes white adipose tissue and brown adipose tissues uh, let us see the white adipose tissue uh, this is made up of uh, anilocular adipocytes uh, anilocular adipocytes uh, each cell containing one large lipid vacuole so these white adipose tissues they are made up of uh, anilocular uh, adipocyte which means each cell contains one large lipid vacuole which fill the whole cell uh, when fatty cells aggregate together they appear yellow uh, this is due to presence of uh, pigments known as lipofusin in fatty cells so when these cells aggregate together they look yellow uh, and this is because of uh, uh, the presence of the pigment known as lipofusin uh, inside the fatty cells adipocytes uh, and also we have brown adipose tissues and specialized reproductive tissues uh, and also we have brown adipose tissues are uh, made up of uh, aggregation of multilocular adipocytes uh, which means one cell contains numerous vacuole uh, tuliangalia kwenye white uh, adipose tissues zile adipocytes uh, they are anilocular so uh, one cell it may contain one large lipid vacuole ambayo imejaza cell yote but in the brown adipose tissues yeah they are adipocyte they are multilocular uh, which means one cell may contain a lot of uh, vacuoles uh, inside so Lichly uh, supplied with blood vessels which uh, makes it appear light brown in color when viewed in flesh uh, condition. So uh, because of the uh, blood supply blood vessels which makes it appear light brown in color when viewed in flesh condition and present in infants and newborn and they decrease with the age kadiri mtu anapokuwa anakuwa these are uh, brown adipose tissues uh, zinapungua and may be replaced by white adipose tissue uh, as normal uh, process of uh, development of the uh, either human being or any other living organism uh, main function is to protect a uh, newborn from cold tuliangalia adipose tissues uh, they are also function as uh, insulators they are used for insulation so the main uh, important function is to protect a newborn from cold from cold uh, here in specialized connective tissues we have cartilage uh, this is tough specialized connective tissues made up of cells fibers and ground substances uh, ground substances these are matrix uh, so this cartilage they are made up of cells fibers and ground substances uh, it is a vascular and consists of the cells called the chondroblast and the uh, chondrocytes uh, ground substances matrix is homogeneous uh, and the surrounding the lucunae uh, in which the cartilage cells lie and fibers present are either collagen or elastic fibers so collagen fibers and elastic fibers they are all uh, they both present in cartilage uh, pelicondrium is a specialized the uh, membrane that covers the cartilage and it is made up of dense regular connective tissues uh, with many blood vessels and the nerve fibers uh, here in specialized uh, connective tissues there are three types of cartilage based on the types of fibers it contains so depending on the type of fibers uh, it contains there are three uh, types of uh, cartilages uh, and the composition uh, of the and also uh, based on the composition of the ground substance so based on the types of fibers it contains and the composition of the ground substances uh, there are three types of uh, cartilage so the first one is hyaline cartilage and also we have elastic cartilage and also we have fibro 
cartilage. So we have hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and the fibro cartilage. Uh, let us see the hyaline cartilage. Uh, hyaline cartilage is the most uh, the most abundant types of cartilage in the human body. Your cartilage and bone are kwa for just kikubwa uh, kwenye mwili wa mwanadamu and it is solid but flexible. Ni ngumu sana lakini it is flexible and it can be cut with knife. Hyaline cartilage is a uh, splatter tract including nose, larynx, trachea and the so these are examples of structures uh, in the human body that are formed by hyaline cartilage. Uh, on the sternal ends of ribs and also it covers the articular surfaces of joint uh, and during embryonic life it forms cartilage uh, skeleton from which the long bones develop. So uh, during the embryonic uh, stages, uh, the stage of embryo, embryonic life, uh, this hyaline cartilage, uh, they form the cartilage skeleton uh, from which the long bones, uh, long bones of the fetus develop. Uh, this uh, function of hyaline cartilage uh, first of all is the facilitation of the joint movement and to support uh, the airways and the growth. Uh, so here in the facilitation of uh, joint movement as it lines uh, the articular surfaces of all the synovial joints. So this hyaline cartilage uh, it lines the uh, articular surfaces of all the synovial joints making them to be smooth and also support the airways because uh, of its firmness and it does not collapse hence it is assist in keeping the tubes patent so uh, where the hyaline cartilage found uh, in a tengeneza something like hollow and bio highways ku, 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 ku collapse so it may maintain a tube your hairway the passage your hair you were uh, smooth you were is and the uh, growth. This hyaline cartilage is responsible for growth. It forms nearly all bones of the fetal skeleton. Uh, these are replaced by bone tissue uh, except of the distal ends of the long bones where they form uh, the epiphyseal cartilage. So uh, hyaline cartilage in the ambazo uh, develop to form the long bones in the fetal uh, in glycogenous kicho tumboni mifupayake in a develop from hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage do it once, then from there uh, it is replaced by bone except at the distal, uh, kule mushoni, distal end of the long bones uh, where they form uh, the epiphyseal cartilage. So, wakati nasoma bones, uh, kipengecha long bones, we are going to see the parts of the long bones, then to tailor up uh, how is this uh, sentence mean. Uh, Elastic cartilage. Uh, elastic cartilage contains elastic fibers as a major component, uh, but few collagen type 2 uh, fibers. So, elastic cartilages uh, may contain a uh, major component, uh, it may contain elastic fibers as a major component, but also few collagen type 2 fibers. It is more flexible and the elastic. Uh, Elastic cartilage found in epiglottis, auditory tube, pinna of the ear, and the, uh, the, the coniculate uh, and the conicino eye form, and the alitenoid cartilage of the larynx. Uh, functioning of the elastic cartilage are to provide support uh, and also to maintain the shape and the flexibility of the organ. So, is to provide support uh, and also to maintain the shape and the flexibility of the organs. Uh, and we have and also we have fibro cartilage uh, this uh, it has an opaque appearance uh, opaque it is uh, something opaque at uh, nailewa and the fibrous texture and it does not have perichondrium so uh, this is the opaque they do not uh, they are dark they do not allow light to pass through they are something like uh, to furniture you see they are not uh, they're not transparent they're not translucent so uh, it has an opaque appearance and the fibrous texture and the uh, does not have perichondrium uh, has numerous visible type 1 collagen fibers and spars uh, ground substances found in areas uh, where film support and tensile strength 
uh, required so this fiber cartilage zinapatikana kwenye maeneo ambayo yanahitaji uh, film support and the uh, film tensile uh, strength uh, the like the uh, intervertebral disc uh, pubic symphysis uh, and articular discs, discs in joints uh, the cartilaginous lining of bone grooves uh, in which tendons are lodged and the rims of certain articular cartilages. Uh, Fibrocartilage function as a shock absorber and joint stability. So this fibrocartilage they are responsible uh, to act as a shock absorber and the joint stability. Uh, in maintaining the stability ya uh, joint lakini pia inasaidia kupunguza ile msuguano na mtikisiko uh, at the shock uh, absorber. So now these are key points. Uh, you need to, to 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 make sure that these key points are uh, they are in your finger uh, in your fingerprints. Mda uh, wote unaweza ukazi 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 elezea uh, kadili uh, zilivu elekezwa in our sessions. So hakikisha uh, hizi points zote pamoja na zile learning tasks zipo kwenye your fingertips uh, muda wote uh, once you are needed to explain uh, you can do it so uh, connective tissue is a medium which surrounds and supports other tissues uh, of the body uh, the components of connective tissues are cells fibers and the ground substances uh, connective tissue cells are divided into resident cells uh, known as fixed cells and the wandering cells because some resident cells they are always uh, residing on the connective tissues by wandering cells usually ambazo they are found there when uh, there is a need uh, like those immune cells uh, resident cells are found residing in the connective tissues and the wandering cells are temporarily found within the connective tissues uh, now this is evaluation uh, uh, with your time you need to evaluate yourself to see if you have understood and you can explain uh, pamoja na zile ambazo ni learning task so you need to combine them together and to make sure that you can answer uh, the question so uh, then what is connective tissue what are the types of fibers found in connective tissues what are the three type what are the types of cells found in connective tissues and what are the functions uh, of connective tissue thank you